Now we're going to be looking at using the half butterfly guard to get to low knee shield, high knee, fit, knee shield, and just transitioning in between various half guards. So most of you guys are probably familiar with the idea that there are way more than one half guard. There are so many. There's low knee shield, high knee shield, Z guard, but half butterfly guard, uh, traditional half guard. I mean, there's probably a bunch I'm missing. So one of the ways that I love to play half guard is obviously the half butterfly guard. That's my favorite way. Now, if the half butterfly guard doesn't work, a guard that I often resort to because it's easy transition is the low knee shield. So let's look at the low knee shield <coughs> transition. So sometimes I'm in the half butterfly guard and maybe I haven't been able to do anything. Maybe the guy's pressuring forward and I don't think I'm able to keep him off me well. So I'm gonna transition to the low knee shield. So what is the low knee shield? Low knee shield is I just take my butterfly hook, I bring my knee to the top of his hip here but very, very, very shallow. Not deep enough that he can smash it down. Really shallow on the outside of his knee, and then I clasp my legs together, and I pinch my knee into his hip. As he pressures in, my clamp gets much tighter. So now when I go to the low knee shield, the reason for me switching to the low knee shield is because maybe neither of the attacks that I've been trying to do were working, so this allows me the opportunity to start to go into traditional dogfight sweeps that most of us are probably familiar, more popular things. So let's change the angle. I also go there because it's a very easy transition. So we're here in the half butterfly. Maybe I've tried doing stuff, it's not working. So look, I just take the butterfly hook out and turn the knee. Okay, now I lock my legs like so, and I pinch. Now he pressures in. It's very hard for him to pressure in. I push him away, and now I have my low knee shield entries, which allows me to go into a bunch of different attacks. If you're not a low knee shield guy, I want you guys to keep in mind more than the technique that you can always switch half guards. If the half butterfly is not working, I've been pushing, I've been trying to extend, it's not working. Look, I can undo my half butterfly and go high knee shield, right? Z guard, and I can start to switch for traditional half guard attacks, right? If the high knee shield's not working, that's fine. I can go traditional half guard. Right? If that's not working, I can try to go for lockdowns. Whatever it is, guys, but just don't be so married to one variation of the half guard when it's not working. It's best to get good at one variation of the half guard. But if it's failing consistently over and over again against an opponent, maybe they're just good at defending it, try to throw them a curveball. And the curveball that I often try to throw is the low knee shield. I'll be here with the opponent, maybe he's smothering me, and I can't get him off, I can't elevate, so I switch here, hip escape. Lock the knee, extend him, and now I use it as just a frame. Okay, and then from here, I come through and I start to attack. Maybe I go back into my attacks once I re-get my underhook here and sit up. But more than the technical application and transition of this, it's just the concept that you're not stuck there. You're not stuck there at all. You can always move. And so one easy place to move is the low knee shield. And I hope to, in the future, put out an instructional on the low knee shield. So. We'll see.